Here we go. Blast off in three, two, one. Thank you so much for all the suggestions for the Florida Marble Machine. I went through all the comments, I compiled a huge list of everything that you mentioned, as well as a lot of the things that I researched. And then I started putting post-it notes all over the Florida state, marking all the different things that I'm gonna build. So let's jump right into it and start building some stuff. All right, so I'm gonna start on the, um, the rocket launch area of the uh, of Florida. So this will be for Cape Canaveral, Kennedy Space Center. I'm gonna try to build a Model Falcon 9. I got some rocket engines for model rockets. So I'm going to um, try mounting it in some of this PVC. This is quarter inch PVC, half inch PVC. So yeah, I gotta take all the lettering off and start modeling it up. So I don't know if isopropyl, well this is isopropyl 70% alcohol. We're gonna see if this takes off the letters. I don't think it will. We're gonna try it. It's probably just gonna clean it, <laughs> if anything. It's getting a little bit of ink. This is not doing it. I need acetone, but I don't have any. Does Google have acetone in it? No. Negative. Right, um... <laughs> We're just gonna go the lazy way. <laughs> that works. All right, here's my CVPC cutters. Got our PVC, nice and clean, no letters on it. So according to this chart, the uh, length of the rocket, the time, the time length is a quarter of a second. So it's gonna be, psh, that's it, very quick. <laughs> that's cool, all right. So the rocket engines come with this tiny little, I don't know if you can even see this, this tiny little um, igniter thing. So when you power up either end, give it a little power, the thing at the end ignites and that's what starts the f Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, it's gonna work. Okay, check this out. Okay, so if I touch it with the battery. <laughs> and so this little bit, when it's tucked into the end of the, where's the rocket engine? When it's tucked into the end here, it ignites it and that's what sends it off. All right, so I wired it up. So I have some extension wires coming off of the igniter. And on the day in the actual machine, It'll be hooked up to metal, two metal like rails. And then when a marble rolls on the rails, it'll actually make the, the electrical connection. And that's what will, um, that's what it will ignite it. So that's how a marble is going to ignite this thing. So now let me get this little plug. This thing goes in here. And do like that. So that's in there, good to go. So now I need to attach this thing in here and I'm gonna do that with some hot glue. Got my fire extinguisher at the ready. Okay. 
here we go. Blast off in three, two, one. Oh man, that was cool. <laughs> the whole thing just like imploded. I gotta open it. I gotta open a door. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna work. What's left of my, let me go around. We got smoke is airing out slowly but surely. All right, the rocket's still in there. Right, the little thing is in there, so that stayed up well. Oh, you know what? Okay, so there was a pop through the top of this thing. Partway through it just like poofed out the top. And I think that's uh, to release the parachutes. That's funny. I hope that, well, because I'm gonna cap this thing. I guess I could make that thing just slip on so the capsule could fly off. Oh, that'd be cool, let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. This is gonna turn out well. Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. The mark from the thing. All right. Now I have to take this blank piece of pipe and make it look like a Falcon 9. I pulled up some pictures as reference and got to it. When making models that emulate things in real life, anything can become an asset that helps complete the picture. In this case, electrical tape and markers. A small piece of slightly larger pipe became my second stage that slips on top. When the engine tries to pop the parachute, this will go flying. Like a true stage separation. Only at ground level. So kind of like an abort. But it'll look awesome. Especially in slow motion. I need to be careful while playing with fire near wood. The base below the rocket engine will be a metal plate that would normally be used for an electrical box. I'd say this looks pretty dang close to a Falcon 9. It'll look great on the board. One of the elements suggested was the Players' Championship at Sawgrass, and the most notable part about it is the 17th hole. Players have to launch the balls over water, and quite often they don't make it. It's really cool looking, so let's build it. Marbles will attempt to roll into the hole, and if they fail and end up in the water, there will be an escape path. Next, I'm gonna tackle some Disney World pieces. I always thought that Spaceship Earth in Epcot looks like a golf ball. So I'm gonna make it out of a golf ball. It'll sit high enough so marbles can roll underneath it through the supports. The most iconic structure at Disney World is Cinderella's Castle. Maybe the most iconic structure in all of Florida. I don't know, you decide. Well, we can't have a Florida marble machine without it, so let's build it.
The majority of this is built with thin pieces of model plywood. And then all the details like spires and towers are built with round and square dowels. For the round dowels, I used a pencil sharpener to get clean looking spikes. Animal Kingdom's major element is the Tree of Life. If you look at the skeletal structure of it while it was under construction, it kind of looks like an oil rig. There's animal details all over it, something I wish I could include, but at this scale, that would be near impossible to see. I'd like to add a main feature for Hollywood Studios, so there's something represented from each park, but I can't decide. If you have a suggestion, leave a comment. All right, some fun elements already done and plenty more to go. Okay, that's it for now. See ya. Hi, can I help you? Can I help both of you? <laughs> You're crazy. You boys are crazy.